Welcome to the Valley Today, a public service presentation of KAIL-TV. Our bodies wear as we age. Sometimes it can be fixed with surgery and or medication, but a relatively new way to treat many afflictions and treat successfully is with physical therapy. Join us as we visit with Daniel Fee of Duker Fee Physical Therapy and explore this science. It's up next on the Valley Today. Well, welcome to the Valley Today and we have a special privilege today to be in the company of Duker Fee Physical Therapy. Now this is a very uh, beautiful new facility that we're uh, involved in and I happen to have Dan Fee who is the uh, proprietor of this establishment and he was gracious enough to uh, grant us an interview about a topic that Dan Good morning, by the way, Good morning. How are, How are you? you? I'm great. A topic that uh, has come to light I'd say for myself in the last 20 years. Dan, when I was in college, I used to get hurt, played hard. Physical therapy never really came up in the conversation that much. And nowadays, I have friends, personal friends, who say, I'm going to the physical therapist office on a weekly basis. Can you give me some history, perhaps a short, brief uh, history on the evolution of physical therapy? Well, I'm short. I, I think physical therapy started back in in the Olympics, you know, in the, in the first Olympics. You know, I mean, people got hurt, right? Mm -hmm. And probably more serious than others. And so they actually uh, would have to try to repair them so they could get back in. I guess in medieval times, you see them jousting, and I guess they got knocked off their horse. And, you know, I guess they didn't call it physical therapist, but, uh, but nonetheless, people were being worked on all the time. And they were, they were doing what physical therapists do, and that is they were, trying to mobilize the joints again, putting them in place, and that's really kind of what physical therapy is, is getting to the cause of a problem and making the joint or the body part more mobile so that people can actually live a better life. Now, again, uh, the uh, introduction and for me came, uh, I'd say, 10, 15 years ago. I really didn't consider physical therapy as an option, nor was it really brought up, but it has stepped up is it more of a mod uh, you say it, it goes back to perhaps is the, the days of the Olympics and so forth in ancient times but in my experiences I've seen it be become a more of a staple of, of uh, maintenance of the body and uh, uh, an improvement of, of various kinds of things that people do to themselves and we're also entering the summer months where people are going to be out being active and perhaps more injuries will occur naturally, playing tennis, riding bicycles, and so forth. Uh, when you got started with this, uh, can you give me a time frame of where you can get that sense of where it really started to be recognized as a viable option for people? Well, bear in mind, I'm not a physical therapist. My wife and daughter are. Oh, very good. And so you know, that's where the name Duker Fee comes from, Aaron Duker and Barbara Fee. Mm -hmm. And we got real creative with that. But, you know, I, I, I guess I have to look at you, Charles, and I have to say that, you know, when you were younger, the problem was you were younger. Yeah. Granted. <laughs> you know, so, I I could help heal myself on that you know, and, and as far as relative to things, you know, I think Henry Ford had black Fords, right, at one time? Yes, all black. And, you know, only one color. I think the models have improved since then. <laughs> That's so for sure. So I think that goes along with the rest of history. You know, physical therapy used to be with this. And, and now it's improved. We have traction devices now that we didn't have before. People um, get repaired, if you will. You know, I don't, I don't know. Have you had any knee problems, Charles, or hip problems? Or Fortunately, anything? no, but hips, back, okay. uh, arms, shoulders. Yeah. Yes, I've gone through the gambit. Let's go back to Henry Ford's time. Did anybody replace their hips? No, anybody I don't think so. replace their knees or their elbows or their shoulders? I mean, you know, so we've come a long way. Yes, And, and things keep improving. You know, we're able to scan people's bodies. Now, physical therapy doesn't do that, but, but we can take those results and work with them. So what you're working on is the uh, movement and patterns of the, bo the body itself, the joints and, and the uh, tendons, the ligaments, and so forth. And again, as I mentioned to the, our audience here, summer's coming, so I'm sure we're going to step up a little bit in the uh, mm. avenue of injuries. Um, I have a couple of questions here, and I, uh, Good. I, I came prepared to <clears throat> ask you... Uh, um, first of all, why physical therapy? And furthermore, 
has, have, has any of our audience ever had physical therapy? So can you elaborate further on the, the need for this and the growing industry that it is? Well, I think, I think we're very fortunate here. We have, most of the time, we have six therapists on staff. You know, four of them, by the way, graduated from Fresno State University here oh, in town. Oh, good, local. We love you know, local. So, and we're real happy about that. Mm -hmm. We also have a mix of therapists. We actually have two DPTs, uh, but the ther therapists that have doctorates. Mm -hmm. And so, we have a very educated staff. Now, Dan, was that a recent uh, designation as a doctorate? I know that physical therapy, because we've discussed the evolution of such, that it now is, as you have mentioned, become a doctorate. And, and thank goodness for Fresno State being here because I understand the program is relatively hard to get into. They only have so many spaces. You know, my wife, uh, my wife started the program when she was 38 years old. And she, there were hundreds that applied and I think there was like 30 that were accepted. She ended up going to St. Charles, Missouri uh, because that's where she could get in. She applied several places, mm -hmm. but yes, you're right. The class size is limited. Back to your other question. Yes, the doctorate is, is sort of a new program. I mean, my wife and daughter are both just plain old PTs, but they got 20 years experience. 20 years, you know, okay. And you, by the way, you have to keep up with your continuing education just to keep your license. Yes. And so it's not a matter of you get a license and then you just keep practicing. You know, you have to, you have to stay current. So. Well, you know, recently we've all heard in the news about uh, the crackdown on uh, medications that doctors are prescribing to provide relief for your ailments and so forth. So I have to ask you the question, why try physical therapy first? It's non-invasive. It, it, you're not putting anything harmful into your body. You know, I at one time had a heart issue and I was taking warfarin, which is, you know, uh, basically a poison to some degree in, in larger quantities to keep my blood thin. Um, if you can lose weight, if you can uh, become more mobile, if you can do many things that physical therapy helps you do, you don't have to take some of those drugs. Well, I, you know. I can attest to you and, and to our audience too because I, I have used Ducrafee physical therapy to relieve some of my ailments and it has allowed me to uh, relieve the pain, drop some of the medications I've been taking, and uh, with the building of the muscles and so forth, it does strengthen the body in terms of your ability to ward off any future injuries, I would imagine, or at least allow yourself to know where your weaknesses are so you don't overtest yourself in the future. That's good. Yeah, you know, we're, we're also lucky. I told you, you know, we have several therapists, but the other side of that is, you know, what kind of patients do we get? And in fairness, we get all kinds. You know, we have therapists here that enjoy working on older folks, mm -hmm. uh, kind of like myself maybe, but we have um, uh, therapists that enjoy working with children. We have therapists that specialize in hand treatments and shoulders. We have therapists that uh, just enjoy uh, many things. We, have, uh, we work on pregnant women sometimes during their, their course of caring to term. Uh, we have had and seen countless issues, frozen shoulders, uh, body part replacements that uh, any part you can think of that can be replaced. We've, we've pretty much worked on. Yes, I, I, I can understand that. Uh, I believe it's uh, a situation where you, you obviously someone needs to go to the doctor first of all to be diagnosed Absolutely. with the situation. Absolutely. Then comes the uh, follow-up and uh, that's where I come back to my, my friends, my neighbors who have actively participated in physical therapy on an ongoing basis yeah. to not only get the problem resolved but to maintain themselves so that that uh, injured portion of their body continues to be grow and develop and strengthen and I think that uh, being in the op having the opportunity to talk to you as a professional that we get the better insight to this this science that as I said was I was very naive about as a, a kid took it for granted oh, I'll just get better on my own kind of a thing. But uh, my own personal experiences, and I have to, again, uh, let the audience know, I, I was recently in this facility for a shoulder injury, and in a side of about uh, 10 visits or so, I, I felt really good after that. Good. And, and continuing to have the education that your therapist provided to me, I was able to carry that on on my own with uh, recognizing certain devices that I was able to develop at home and, and strengthen myself on an ongoing basis. Yeah. And I believe you probably encourage that with your patients. We, we do, but then, you know, it's also one thing you said when you went home, 
You know, one of the things we do here normally is even on your first visit, you get sheets of exercises to continue at home. And we like to give out paper that shows what to do because, I mean, sometimes when you're when you're in the gym or, or in, in the office, you know, you're doing something, somebody's showing you how to do it, but when you get home, you forget. Sure. And so one of the things we like to do is we like to give them, even from the first visit, a home exercise program so that they can, can continue to progress. Would you encourage someone, to, uh, if you've put them on a home regiment, to periodically make a follow-up visit with you and, and, and re-educate? Because I know that techniques keep changing. Equipment, obviously, and you have a beautiful array of it here, keeps changing. So there are other dynamics in, in an injury other than what you may initially be introduced to. It could be expanded for that person. Absolutely. Um, but the other side is, you know, on physical therapy, we are not allowed to keep you if you're not progressing. You know, part of the job is for us to have you progress to a level that you can continue your, your daily living activities, whether you be a adolescent, someone in high school with sports, whether you be someone middle-aged, whether you be a senior citizen, you know, we encourage people to stay active and stay healthy. Now, Dan, uh, being physical therapy, being the, the uh, the science that it is, and it's, I, again, I have and, it is a, and it is a science. It is a science, <laughs> and obviously takes a degree now, more so than ever before. Um, what is the uh, ability of, can someone come to a facility like yours and say, I, I request physical therapy, or do they have to go through a medical procedure before they are allowed to do so? If, if someone walked in our door, we might do a screening but we're going to ultimately send them to the doctor and ask the doctor we might say to the doctor we saw this what do you think and make sure that that doctor is on board with what we're thinking and then the doctor can refer them to us okay so it's a two-step process and the science is ever ever evolving well dan thanks for this uh, first segment we're going to continue with more on the information of physical therapy Great. And I have lots of more questions, so <laughs> stay tuned, everybody. We'll be back again. Thank you. Well, once again, we're back at Dukerfi Physical Therapy located in Northeast Fresno. And these facilities, Dan, I have to congratulate you, are <laughs> top notch. And having been a patient of yours, I have felt the results. And that was one of my questions that we addressed earlier is why I refer to physical therapy and obviously to, its imp to improve function and restore motion to the body. Yes. But furthermore, and it allowed me to use my notes here, um, the question of when to refer to physical therapy, and uh, certainly the sooner the better, I would imagine. Uh, can, can I look at your notes? Yes, oh, sure no. you can. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm doing this because uh, I want to be ta on, the, on the ball with the science. Good, good. So, so there you go. So There's your question is sooner the better, right? Sooner the better. You know, uh, sometimes we say try PT first. Try physical therapy first. You know, um, if it doesn't work and, and as you know, well. I, I've been told that by doctors, MDs, and specialists because we happen to be in a Fresno where there are a lot of specialty clinics, shoulder clinics, uh, hip, hip replacements, and so forth. And oftentimes they do go that route. They'll say, try the physical therapy first before we have to use a cortisone injection or an epidural or, or something. Or an MRI. Like or an MRI. You know, or an X, can, you know, x rays. I mean, if something cleans up, then you know you don't have to spend. I mean, what it, whatever it costs for an MRI, I know it, it takes a lot of people's deductible just to get well, an those MRI. Those are huge. I think they're about five thousand dollars a yeah. piece. So uh, if we can help with that, then that's a good thing. Very yeah. good. So. Well, that's good. Then uh, probably the best thing is to uh, go that route before medications and cold, and and then also also you can do your home remedy uh, stuff that is in conjunction with what you advise people, cold packs, heat packs, and stretching exercises. Uh, far, pardon me for uh, fumbling a little bit, but uh, uh, painful conditions such as back, neck, and shoulder, uh, common reasons for doing this, and, and, and 
the doctor referrals, I have to come back to that again. Can you give me a little more on the re rehabilitation process and how you interact with the doctors? Well, actually, when somebody comes in, uh, we do an evaluation. Mm -hmm. And normally, that's a at least a full hour of working with that patient and writing up a report to the doctor. And then most of the time, it's a two or three page report. Uh, they check range of motion. They check uh, actually the medication sometimes that, that the patient brings in. Mm -hmm. uh, it's becoming more and more important with Medicare these days because they're requiring more and more uh, just to see the patient. And would, would you say that anybody could be referred? I mean, we're talking about all age groups, all walks of life are, are benefiting from this science. We, I would say yes, and you know there is pediatric physical therapy as well, but we don't go there actually because we don't feel that we're mm -hmm. overly qualified in that area. So we stop at about 10 years old and above. But again, since we have so, so many and a very diverse physical therapists, we feel like that we're capable of from like 10 years old on up to 90, uh, we're, we're fine and mm -hmm. we have the staff to handle that. Mm -hmm. Very so. good, and, and from what I had experienced, I had, I had seen the progression of others who had been in your facility, and, and they, we, we'd chat on the side, you know, because patients do that, and how, how do you feel? Uh, and, and most of the time, in fact, all of the time, it was, I, I'm feeling looser, I'm f more, more fluid in my motions, and that's something else I wanted to bring up is, uh, uh, what conditions are best helped with physical yeah, therapy? Before you go there, I, right. I, I just read a just read a, a letter from a, a patient yesterday. It was a survey, and at the bottom of the survey, she wrote, "I feel young again." Ah, yeah. So we could be very in a, a building of a, a sort of a fountain of youth here, well, to some degree. At if, least if it, we could, it made if, me feel young. If we could bottle it, we'd be in better shape. <laughs> yes, indeed. So. Well, that's the thing, but that, you know, funny, that's the thing that we're trying to get away from in physical therapy uh, is the bottle, right? Yeah, the other, you look at Herman here, who yeah. is our, our dummy. Uh, Herman, There's Herman, a lot of moving parts on he, Herman. He gets, he gets used a lot. And if you actually looked around the clinic, which, which we're not doing with the camera, but we have charts all over. And one of the things our therapists do is they take the time to explain to the patient why they have that issue. They look at the body part on a chart, in an, an anatomy chart, if you will, and kind of explain, okay, this is happening because of this. Mm -hmm. we, had a, we had a guy come in that his hand was acting up on him. And my wife, who is a physical therapist, said to him, how do you sleep at night? Yes. Okay, because the way he sleeps at night can affect his wrist. You know, it's, it's like I personally at one time and some sciatic issues and and I will tell you that you know it was a protruding disc in my back that made pain run up and down my entire leg on my right side at that time and I was I survived for three days with a vibrator just back and forth on that leg no sleep actually when my wife left I was in tears because I was hurting so bad mm -hmm. and finally they, they took me to the hospital and it took, uh, took some drugs to get me to where some of that pain well, relieved. Well, you just answered a question. I was saying what would lead to symptoms and obviously your body's talking to you. It's saying I'm hurting and with all the movable parts that we, we discussed thus far, it, 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 it is something that's not gonna go away unless you get some professional help that can lead you in the direction to have a regiment of preventative maintenance, we could call it, kind of well, like an automobile. And it's diagnosing where the problem's coming from. In my case, like I mentioned, it was my, my back that was causing pain up and down my leg. Yes. And it's like, okay, what's wrong with my leg? Well, maybe nothing, you know, but it's touching the nerve that runs all the way down. So we've covered uh, physical therapy assessments, which you do. Uh, we've discussed the reasons why you need to try physical therapy first rather than drugs and medications. You know, that's, that's also a good point because that assessment at the bottom basically has a offered plan of care that the doctor has to sign off on. Mm -hmm. And so we're actually asking the doctor, okay, here's what we think, here's our plan of care, here's the treatment that we're going to try to do. And then the doctor agrees or, or disagrees and then sends that back with, with an approval. Before, yes. we, before we really progress. Yes. And I, I believe that the science, again, referring to the science, has gotten to the point where it, not necessarily self-diagnosing yourself is gonna be the right answer. I mean, people have home <laughs> remedies. I remember 
grandmas talking about mustard plasters. They also have and the internet. Of that. And the internet. <laughs> so people are starting to feel like they can be their own doctor. But looking around your facility, do you have charts on various joints, ligaments, tendons, and areas that people can really see the diagram more yes. thoroughly and in a larger expanded version than, than, than on the internet? And I, want, I, I personally would, would steer people away from necessarily relying on that home remedy system and the internet because when you put this science in motion, such as you did for me, the results were infinitely better than self-diagnosis. So what would a, a typical patient spend per week in terms of not dollars or anything, I'm talking about visits. Right. Uh, you know, and I myself was a two two time a week person. Three times a week is is not an uncommon thing, but most of the times we end up with two times a week, and it gives the people who do some exercise time to recuperate those muscles and whatever joint it is to to get back to, so that they can be a a full functioning person. Now, I, interestingly enough, I got some information here because uh, I was researching your 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 organization and your science falling older people mm. is one See, of the big ones that I've heard about recently in the papers people falling and breaking a hip or something. Oh, and this gets back to YPT first because, okay. because good, good. You, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> you know patients 65 and older one out of three is scheduled to fall this year. Oh one out of three. Now, and, and, and I, I understand that broken hips and things like that can lead to fractured the, hip the is further most common. decline of the, the mental psyche as well. Fractured hips are the most common, but, but that cost on average for a fall is $9,000 to $13,000 per fall. Now, if you get to a 72-year-old, it's $19,000, and that's, that's, that's facts in, in a CDC report. It's not me making up the numbers. Okay. Physical therapy might run $1,200 if you just for a, a range of program that gets you started and getting you some exercise and things like that. Uh, but but far less than a fall, not well, not counting what you said the mental stress. Yes, the mental you know, stress. The the morale issue of the person uh, feeling like they're no good anymore. You know, can't do anything. Correct. So. All right. Well, Dan, well, then we we established that it's good to see your doctor first uh, or your <clears throat> specialist. Take a, a suggestion from them and go to a physical therapist, particularly your facility here, because it's conveniently located. I understand you recently made a move from uh, <laughs> Fresno Street to First Street here. We, we, and I'd like you to tell people uh, a little bit about the referrals and how that process works, and then give us uh, your address and some information uh, that people can contact you on. Well, we're, we're proud of our new place. It's beautiful. Uh, you know, Absolutely in, in 2005, we worked out of my house. I, I did the scheduling billing at home, and we only saw patients in our little 500 square foot office on schedule. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to Fresno Street, and we had 2,200 square feet. And basically, uh, it wasn't designed as well as we would have liked. And so we've designed this one a little better, we think, and it's, it's a little bigger. And so, you know, but referrals are easy. If the doctor just faxes us a referral, we take it from there. We take basically all insurances, including Medi-Cal, which many places don't Very do. Very good. I, I understand that you're one of the, could be the only or one of the few that does take that. I don't think we're the only one, but, but not many. We not have people many. that come from a far distance to get here because we take their insurance, either Medi-Cal or managed Medi-Cal, which is, uh, you know, Calviva and others, you know, EHS. Uh, Blue Cross Medi-Cal, straight Medi-Cal, those kind of things, and we're hearing more and more of economic problems where people call and say, well, I can't come because I can't afford the gas, you know. Well, very good. Dan, can you give us a, a website or a phone number to contact you know, so that people can get more in touch with this science that helps their bodies? I can do that. All right, yeah. please do. www.dukerfee.com www.dukerfee.com It's okay. D-U-E-K-E-R-F-E-E -E -E. Dot com. Phone number? 559-439-8151. Well, Dan, it's been a pleasure interviewing you. I hope I don't have to uh, get injured, but I know I'm going to do something silly out there sooner or later, and it's been a pleasure to get introduced to you, and, you. And, and follow through with this because, believe me, folks, it works. I'm a, a prime example of it. And